Hello kindergarten. So for math this week, we are practicing our addition again, just to make sure that we are really good at it. So remember addition is where we take two small numbers and we put them together to make a big number kindergarten. We use a plus sign because it's like a bow tie. It ties our numbers together and our equal sign is like a road. It leads us to the answer. Do you remember what we call the answer for an addition problem? We call it the sum. So on Monday, we practiced using objects to help us count up for our math problems. Yesterday, we practiced drawing diagrams or drawing pictures to help us figure out our answers for our math problems. And today, we're going to use our number lines. So go grab your number lines. Make sure you have something that you can use with it, like a little piece, like a game piece. If you have any warm fuzzies lying around, you can use those too. And make sure that you have a piece of paper or a dry erase board and something to write with so that you can write your math problems with me. I'll see you when you get all of your stuff. I'll be here when you get back. Your first math problem today, kindergarten, is going to be three plus four. So I'm going to write that here. And remember, we're writing them up and down now. Three plus four equals. Remember how we can write them up and down now. So this says three plus four equals. Kindergarten, it's been a while since we've done a number line, but I'm sure that you will remember once we start. So I have this really cool magnet. It has a question mark on it. You may not be able to see. So I need to look at my math problem to see which number I need to put my magnet, my piece on first. What's the first number in our math sentence today? It's the number three. So I'm going to put my magnet on the number three, right up top. Okay, now it says plus four. That doesn't mean I just hop to the number four. It's like a game. Like if you were playing a game on a game board, I need to move four spaces. So let's stop and think. If addition is taking two small numbers and making a big number, do I want to go toward my small numbers or toward my big numbers? I want to go toward my big numbers. So I'm going to move four spaces toward the big numbers. Here we go. One, two, three, four. What number did you land on kindergarten? I landed on seven. Let's read what our math, our addition problem, our math problem says today. It says three plus four equals seven. Good job, kindergarten. All right, kindergarten, your next addition sentence today says five plus five equals five plus five. What is the number that I'm going to put my marker, my, well, not this marker, my piece, my magnet, what am I going to put my piece on first? Which number? Number five, my first number in my addition problem is five. So I'm going to put my piece on the number five. How many spaces are we going to move it? We're going to move it five spaces. Our next number is five. So we're going to move it five spaces toward the big numbers kindergarten. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. What number did it land on? It landed on 10. So now our addition sentence today says five plus five equals 10. Let's do one more together and then you can go off and play one of your math games. All right, kindergarten, your last math problem today, which I haven't even written yet, let's do this one. Let's do two plus there's my plus sign, seven equals. All right, so now your math problem, your addition sentence today says two plus seven equals. So what number do I need to start on? I need to start on the number two. That's my first number. That's where I'm going to put my magnet, my piece, whatever you have. That's where we're going to put it. So now how many spaces do we need to move? We move seven spaces and we go toward the big numbers because we're adding, we're making a big number kindergarten. All right, let's move seven spaces. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I landed 
at the number nine kindergarten. I landed at the number nine. So now we can read our last edition sentence and see what it says. It says two plus seven equals nine. Very good kindergarten. You should have your own addition, your own number line at home. There we go, Miss Dollar. You should have your own number line at home. If you still have your name, name tag from our classroom, you have a number line all the way at the bottom. Or you could have printed one off that I put on our Google Classroom. Or you could have grabbed one when you came to pick up your work last week. So kindergarten, if you don't have a number line, if for some reason you lost your name tag or you don't have the one that we could print off or get from last week, you can just take a piece of paper, cut it up, and you can ask your grown-up to help you. I just drew mine on here. So I want you to practice your addition problems using a number line today, kindergarten. You're doing a great job. Here is your warm fuzzy, and I will see you guys in just a little bit. Goodbye.